Hello everyone, this is the Dell Edge Gateway 5000 that's targeted at IoT type of deployments. And what I'm going to demonstrate here today is its ability to communicate over LoRaWAN. LoRaWAN is a uh, wide area network communication protocol that, that's wireless, so you can actually communicate with, with various devices in the field as long as they have a LoRa enabled radio. So what I'm going to do here is, is simply demonstrate how you would communicate with, with something that's out in the field. And so what I've adapted here is a, a Dell tablet that'll be running a special app that I've written as well as a LoRa WAN radio that's been equipped to the back of this. So the the Gateway 5000 will be fixed here in this location, and I'll go ahead and take the tablet out into the field. And so I'll go ahead and open the LoRa WAN port here, and then I'll also open the console here. And so we see that we're getting communication already here, and we're also getting communication here. And so what I've done is I've split this app up into three sections. The left section obviously initializes the lower WAN module that's on the gateway. And then the uh, center section captures all incoming uh, messages that are, that are being transmitted by the transmitter in the field, which is this um, Dell tablet. The gateway 5000 is additionally sending out an acknowledgement that it is actually communicating um, or that it has received the signal from that tablet. And it, and what I've also done here is I'm, I'm capturing the data that's being outputted to that center screen into a file here that's called LoRa data. Um, so you can see the file continues to grow in size as data continues to come in. And then I have um, essentially an elapsed time running there as well. So if we if we take a look at some of the signals that we're seeing here, we could see that we're getting a um, an acknowledgement. That's the wraparound line. I did that on purpose so we can notice when we are getting an acknowledgement from the Gateway 5000. So what we'll do now is let's go go ahead and take this to the field. So um, right now, if we look. We're still getting a signal, an RSSI of minus 69, and that's that's essentially the measurement of the strength um, that we're getting from the antenna that's adapted to this. So let's let's go ahead and get going. If we look at the RSSI signal, we could see that it's actually 8895. And so we know that our maximum is one is minus 100. So we're pretty close to reaching that maximum point. So let's uh, let's head back in and see what was captured in the data. If we look at the data file that was captured, it's a ton of data. We'd have to sift through it, um, likely using some type of sorting application in, in order to extract what we're, what we're interested in, in looking for. And in this case, we'd want to look at the failures, right, as they've um, a, a essentially progressed from of higher strength to lower strength and if we coupled that with some GPS data we could find out exactly how far we were able to go. The next test would likely entail having the unit outside and that that would likely give us a lot more range uh, since we're you know since we have a, quite a bit of obstruction for the antenna to be able to communicate to the field.